Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live on YouTube at seven o'clock Eastern time. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hello, Debbie Spicer. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Terry. Hey, Beth. Hey, Antoinette. How are you guys doing? It is a hot, hot day here today in Chesapeake. It was too hot to do much of anything, but I did run some errands and um, got out in that heat for a little while. So this is the card that we're making today. Actually, we're gonna make five of them. So they were so, it was so easy, I just decided to go ahead and do five. So I could get a bunch of cards out and um, give some as thank you cards. And I've been missing you, Debbie Spicer. I didn't see you last week. How's your husband doing? Hey, Patricia. Hey, Irene. I had a great time um, this weekend with my friends at the lake. And um, our stamping thing was a huge success. It was so much fun. We just had a great time. Got to float around in the lake for a few hours each day and just relax. And it was so great. But you know how it is when you go on vacation in a few days and then you come back and you have to catch up on everything. So, um, I've been trying to catch up on everything and, uh, it's not working. <laughs> I was looking at my comments before the video and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like 200 comments behind. <laughs> so I'm trying to reply to them, but they are, I'm just really falling behind. Um, thanks you guys. Hey Lisa. Hey Danette. Hey Valerie. Hey Pat. You guys missed me on Saturday. I missed you guys too. I actually thought about doing a video, but um, we were just having so much fun and uh, we didn't really have any way to set it up. Somebody would have just had to hold the camera. So, hey, Mary. I'm so glad you guys missed me. <laughs> yes, Friday doesn't come fast enough, except I have to work since I was off. Um, I did go into work yesterday and do admin stuff, but then I was off today. And then I work tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I got to work all weekend, this weekend. So I have to make up for being off last weekend. But anyway, we're um, th I'm thinking of fall because it's so hot here. It's supposed to be 90s all week again. And um, I'm just like tired of the heat. I love summer, but I like it about 80 degrees, not 95. So, um, oh, I got a happy mail gift from Lorraine Bilios, and I don't know if you guys noticed my nails. So she sent me these really cute nail things from QVC. So it is all these different nail, um, clear, well, they're clear and pink, and then a nail file, like a crystal nail file, because she noticed, like, when I broke my nail, she said, <laughs> She said, you need this stuff. So she sent it to me. So thank you so much, Lorraine. That was so, so sweet of you to send me the that as a gift. And so my nails are looking good. I still, I got two broken ones, but um, the rest look pretty good. So I'm excited about that. Oops. I just scrolled off the page. And can you guys hear me good? Because I was like so embarrassed by that last video. After I went back and watched it, I was like, oh my God. I cannot believe how awful it was with the um, the buffering and the sound and everything. I almost just did the whole thing over again, but I was leaving. So I apologize for how awful that one was. But hopefully, I prayed about this one before I started, and I was like, please, Lord, please let this video work. <laughs> I don't know what happened last time. Um, this is the stamp set we're using today, which is one of my new favorites. Uh, it's not my typical flower ones, but it is nature, and I do love the nature ones. I'm all about, like, the natural-looking stamp sets. And this is the embossing folder that goes with it, and it's called Leaf Fall. And, um, these are both in the Holiday Mini, and I love that. I've got it on here. Hopefully you can see it. And I've got my Shimmer Mist on here, too. And I do keep getting questions about the Shimmer Mist, so, um... If you have not made the Shimmer uh, Mist lately or haven't ever made it, you have to use 70% alcohol. You cannot use the 91%. It will clog up the um, 
the spray thing. So make sure you're using 70% alcohol. And then it is the shimmer paint. This right here, the champagne mist from Sukuniko. And it's like $5 online. I should put the link in my description box. I keep forgetting. Somebody send me an email and remind me so I don't forget. Because um, I get so many questions about that every time. I've got a couple winners who still have not claimed their cards yet. So we've got three here. Robin Miller. And I know you know you won, but you didn't send me your address. And I don't have it. So make sure you send me your address for that one. And then Judy, uh, I don't know how to say your last name. Gelnak, Gelniak. I'm sure I butchered that. And Tiffany Ellis. You guys need to claim these cards. Everybody else went in the mail um, today or yesterday. So those will be coming to you guys soon. And part of the gifts for the last two weeks went out today. And the rest hopefully will go out tomorrow. And then I've got a few samples of a swap that um, I did. Um with some friends. So this one, I can't remember who made this one. Oh, Michelle Avance. I don't know if she's watching right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Robin, you sent me your address and I replied, I am so sorry. Um, send it to me again because I went back and looked through my emails and I don't remember seeing it. Um, I don't know if you, maybe you sent it to me in the comments or something, but I couldn't find it. So, but I know you, you said that you knew you won but I couldn't find your address. Um, this is another one. Oh, and the hippo, I wanted to talk about celebration real quick. So celebration, a couple things have sold out already. The sea foam um, and pool party note cards and envelopes or cards and envelopes has sold out. And the dies that go with the, that have the camper, like the, um, what is it called? Hold on, let me look. I forgot the name of it. It is sold out and they are not getting it back in. So that's a big bummer. This one right here, the tree lot dies. So this one is sold out and they are not getting it back in. I just called today to confirm. Um, a couple other ones sold out, but they got them back in. But this one is not coming back in. So I am super bummed about that because several people ordered that this weekend and uh, didn't get it. So, um, And they added 10 new things today for celebration. So if you have everything already, my printer is running out of ink. That's why it's this horrible color. Um, there are a bunch of new items. So you can get embossing folders, the timber, the gingham, the seashells, um, embossing folders, the brushed metallic gold. It is gold. <laughs> is that silver? <laughs> and these craft boxes. So this color on here, I guess I'm out of something. I don't know. Um, my ink is supposed to like automatically send, like resend it. You know, when I run out of ink, it's supposed to um, send me some more. So I don't know what happened with that. But I did this one like yesterday and it came out fine. And then I did this one today and it looks like terrible. So I don't know what color I'm out of, but it's it's out of something. Um, and the, so those are the $50 ones, the embossing folders and the metallic paper and the silver foil and the craft box. Then there's a $100 order free gift is the flowers of home dies, the dots and spots die, the daffodil dies, and the aspen tree dies, which that one right there is one of my favorite ones. That's the one that goes with the perched in a tree. So um, I love, love, love that one. So if you don't have it, you can get it now. Even if you don't like the stamp sets, you can get the, the dies. So that's a great deal. And then this I printed out, the um, paper pumpkin kit that is going to go out in um, about a week or so is the sunflowers. And it looks like an awesome kit. I ordered a couple extra ones. So if you don't get paper pumpkin, you might want to think about getting it just for this month to try it out. And then... Um, don't forget we also have the regular celebration going on and the sign up special. So if any of you guys wanna join, it's only $99 for the starter kit. You get $125 of stuff plus the planner and all that good stuff in there. It's a great deal. And you get free shipping and a paper pumpkin kit. So don't miss out on that one. All right, so oh, let me finish showing you these um, cards. So this is a card my friend Lynn made and um, this is the one that made everybody wanna buy that 
um, well, you spend a hundred dollars to get that for free. So, um, I don't know. Everybody's bummed about that being sold out. And then this one is from my friend, Michelle. This one, I don't know who made this one. That's from a swap I did, um, yesterday. And then this is also, this is Debbie Wilson. And this one is Wendy Biddle. So those are just a few of the cards. I have like a whole pile, but I just wanted to bring a few in just to show you. And um, let's get started stamping. So what you need is some kind of pad or something to um, put your baby wipes on. And here's my experiment that I started with. So when I was practicing, I was doing different things and just stamping it. And um, I was trying out different colors. And then I tried spritzing it to see what it would look like if I spritzed it. So those are just my practice ones. I know you guys like seeing how I, I play around. <laughs> so I love the baby wipe technique though. You can use any kind of baby wipes. They don't have to be huggies. You can use some generic kind if you want to. So I'm just gonna put um, two kind of folded over each other. I think I'm gonna open this up so it's not like bulky. We'll put it right there. I was gonna use my silicone mat, but these wipes are bigger than the silicone mat, so it didn't really, it kind of hung over the edge. All right, so I just put two baby wipes down. Then you need some ink refills. So I was really bummed. I couldn't find my Crush Curry, so I used Daffodil Delight. So I'm using Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, uh, Rich Razzleberry, and Pumpkin Pie. So those are the ink refills I'm using. But Crush Curry, I think, would work better than Daffodil Delight, but I could not find mine. It's missing somewhere. So what you do is you just create your own ink pad. So um, what we're going to do is just put some dots on here, just wherever you want. If you wanted to make, like, a template to kind of match the, um, the stamp, you could. Like, if you wanted to make it so... You got certain, like if you want to put yellow there or whatever, you can. I'm just going to do it random though. So I've got some yellow, which is the daffodil. And then we've got pumpkin pie. And just put it all over. And I've seen people make these like all different ways. Sometimes I've seen people like do yellow and then do a circle and make a big circle. You can do that too. Um, let's do the green. I want to put the green mostly down here where the stem is, and then a little bit in through here. So just all over. Doesn't take a whole lot, and then we're gonna do some purple. I love the razzleberry in there. I'm trying not to get it like on top of the other ones, but just fill in the white space, and then it's gonna run together. So that should hopefully take care of it. I need a little bit more. You want to make sure it's as big as your stamp because you don't want to have to go like all over. You want to just stamp it in one spot. Let me use a little bit more orange. Okay. So then you just let it set for just a minute and kind of run together. You don't want any white spots in there. So hopefully it'll just run together. Maybe you just said mm, teeny bit more yellow. All right, so that looks good. All right, so we're just gonna let it sit for just a second and I'm gonna tell you what you need. So we've got um, five pieces of Whisper White, uh, not Whisper White, Basic White. I keep calling it Whisper White. They're five and a half by eight and a half. That's our base card. And then five pieces of five and a quarter by four embossed with that leaf fall embossing folder. Five pieces of old olive. And um, five pieces, oops, I forgot to put five there. And that's three and one eighth by four and one eighth. I did three and a quarter by four and a quarter and then it was just too much green showing. I just wanted a really, really thin line of green around there. So I trimmed it down a little bit. So there you go if you want to take a screenshot. And then you need your little ribbons, your linen thread ribbon. So that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, so to get a screenshot of that. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, I am not ignoring you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You spritzed your paper and it curled. Oh, you must have done too much. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Um, did, I think that retired last year. Um, yes, Debbie Spicer's been cheating on me. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, okay. So hopefully you got a screenshot of that. Let me take all these off. That's all right, Debbie. You know I love you anyway. <laughs> I cheat on myself. I watched all I watch people different people all the time. All right, so we're going to set these aside just for now and just use our little piece. So, um we don't need really any scrap paper under it because we're not going to go like outside of the lines or anything. All right, so let me bring this back over. Let me get that out of the way. Bring this back over. So it's pretty much all together now. Now you want to kind of, let me tilt this a little bit. You want to make sure you stamp it in the exact same spot each time. Not exact, but close. You don't want to go like this because that's going to muck up your colors. So you want to just like, once you put it down, you want to just kind of tap it in the same spot. And I think for my test run, I'm going to do the inside of my card first instead of using my paper just to see what it looks like because if it's the inside of the card then it won't matter oh I do need scrap paper because I'm going to put this down at the bottom okay oh that came out cool looking it's missing just a little bit so let's see we need to maybe just tap it over just a teeny bit all right so here we go we're gonna do a real one and then we're gonna let it sit for a second and let that ink soak in oh that came out cool I love it love it all right so we're just gonna keep going just tap it and just remember you don't want to move all over let it sit and soak in for just a minute and there we go. Oh, each one's coming out better than the first one. Love it. All right, so here we go. And you don't want to press too hard because this is a juicy baby wipe. It might like ooze out something. All right, beautiful. I'm loving these. And you could probably make a whole bunch more. That's why I wanted to make five because I didn't want to waste this uh, baby wipe on just like one card. All right, this is coming in good. Perfect. Love it. All right, and then I'm going to do the inside of each card with it, too. All right. Oh, these came out so pretty. I love it. All right, so we did that one. Let me get the inside of the rest of them. And then I'm going to go back and read some comments. And then I got a funny story to tell you about um, work. It's so funny. You guys are going to die laughing. Wow. These are so good. This came out better than my one this morning. Love it. Missing one. I could do like a bunch more cards with this. All right. Missing a card. Here we go. All right, and you know what else you could do? You can put this in like a clear container, like a stamp case, and it'll stay wet for like a while. You can come back to it. So, um, all right, so we got all the insides of the cards done and our front pieces. And then what I wanna do is put some sprinkles on all of these. So I've got a little sprinkle stamp. I'm not sure which one this is from, but um, we're just gonna add some sprinkles to our card fronts. And oops, usually I tap off. I love these sprinkles. They remind me of our old itty bitties. Anybody remember itty bitty backgrounds? They were like one of my favorites. I probably went through like 
four or five sets of them because my customers would just like mash them as hard as they could. And I'd be like, don't mash it. You always just tap it and they'd smash it. And then what would happen is the pointy part would get like um, flat. So then it wouldn't make like uh, little teeny sprinkles and made like fat sprinkles. All right, so there we go. So those are done. And then if you want to, you could add some sprinkles inside. We'll put a couple in there. Oh, these are so pretty. I just love these colors. The purple, I think the razzleberry really, really makes it awesome. Uh-oh, I think I'm missing one. Wait a minute. Here we go. Okay, let me read some comments real quick. I think we're done with this. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And let me read some comments. Okay. Oh, I missed a ton. Um, oh, Debbie Spicer went on a date. What? What? I missed something here, Debbie Spicer. Um, you had a date with somebody and it wasn't me. <laughs> I was gone a long time. I was, well, I was gone, um, Thursday to Sunday. So we had a good time. I'm so glad you guys can hear me today. Um, you know where that is? Two and a half hours. Oh, Gastonia. Wait a minute. Audrey says Gastonia. I was in Lake Gaston, um, which is, I think there is Gastonia near there or Gaston near there. Um, we were in a little town, um, at, in Lake, at Lake Gaston, which is right on the North Carolina, Virginia border. I do need an assistant to read my, uh, messages while I stamp it because... Um, I can't concentrate. I can't read and stamp at the same time. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jude. <laughs> um, oh, what I wanted to say about celebration, if there's anything you really want, you better go ahead and get it because I have a feeling a lot of things are going to sell out soon. So, um, let me keep going. Uh, boy, Debbie Spicer, you are just the hit of the party on my website. I tell you on my videos. Everybody loves you. <laughs> you need to start your own video. <laughs> You've already got a following. <laughs> what? Everybody heard, so no worries. Everybody heard what? I have to see what everyone else is working on. Okay. Word of mouth is the best way to win people to see Lisa. <laughs> yeah, go go watch everybody else's videos and say, oh, you should check out Lisa Freeman's video. <laughs> Uh, you guys are so funny. Uh, what colors were used on the baby wipe? It was, um, let me see. I put them away. Pumpkin pie, old olive, rich razzleberry, and daffodil delight. But I wanted to use crushed curry, but I didn't, um, couldn't find it. All right, we're going to do the word next. And I'm going to tell you about what happened at work yesterday. It was hysterical. All right, this is, oops, that was close. This is just black. Memento. This is sticky for some reason. All right, so I'm just going to stamp so grateful down at the bottom. And I love the font of these words. This is so pretty. Oops. Okay, so yesterday I go in to just do some admin stuff. And everybody was like so excited to see me. And I swear I, I go go away for a few days and it's they, they really miss me. And I love that because I have such a fun front office team and we all get along so well and um I took in some goodies for them so anyway I have this guy who works in the front office I actually have two guys but one of them is absolutely hysterical he's um he's uh homosexual and he is from Puerto Rico and he is the funniest guy I've ever met. He's like what every girl wants as a best friend. You know how everybody wants like a best gay guy friend? He would be your best gay guy friend. And he is just the sweetest guy. And he's like 32 years old. And he is drop dead gorgeous. And I, all the girls always say if he wasn't gay that we'd all be like after him, although he's too young for me. But um, so anyway, he was working for me part-time, and then that one girl quit. So 
he took her place full time. So yesterday was actually his first day as full time. And so he came um, like running up to me and he's like, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa. And his gorgeous, uh, his, his accent is Spanish, but it's like a sexy Spanish. And so I just love the way he talks and everybody does. I mean, the whole, the whole center, like every single person in the center loves him. So he says, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa, guess what today is? And I was like, your birthday? And he said, no, it's my first day of full time. And I was like, oh, that's right. And um, so anyway, he's filling out the paperwork for HR for um, like, uh, you know, health insurance and, and uh, all that junk. And so, you know, I was like, well, ask me if you have any questions, you know, I'll help you. Because he was asking, like, what's the difference between the insurances that we can get and and different things. And um, so then he comes back in the office because I was in there doing deposits and stuff. Let me take that out of the way. And uh, he says, Miss Lisa, he said, um, he said, does uh, our company, I'm not going to say the name. He said, do we have a um, program for STDs? And I said, what? I said, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> and, and he said, well, on the sheet, it says um, STD. And then it says for like $4.36 a month. And I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I started just rolling. And I said, no, that doesn't mean STDs. That means short-term disability. <laughs> and, and I was laughing so hard. And he goes, oh, okay. I was wondering, like, what kind of program that would be. <laughs> so then I had to tell everybody at work, and everybody was just dying laughing. And But he, he got a kick out of it, though, because he has a really good sense of humor. But I just thought it was hysterical. So anyway, that's my story. And... Uh, I got a joke for you guys, too. I had to print it out so I wouldn't forget it because it's a long one. So, you guys ready for a joke? Okay. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything. I guess you guys are delayed, though. It might take you a minute. You guys want a joke tonight? It's a cute one. You might have heard it, though, because I think I had heard it before. But I found it. I get these jokes like in my email sometimes. And uh, I don't know where they come from. All right. So these two pieces are going to go together. So we're done with that. So then we're going to glue these down. Okay. So here's my joke. Two little boys walked into the pharmacy one day, picked out a box of tampons, and proceeded to the checkout counter. The pharmacist at the counter asked the older boy, um, son, how old are you? And he says, eight. And the man says, do you know what these are used for? And he said, um, not exactly, but they aren't for me. They're for him. He's my brother, and he's four. And the pharmacist says, um, really? And the little boy says, yep. We saw on TV that if you use these, you'd be able to swim, play tennis, and ride a bike. And right now, he can't do any of those. <laughs> thought that was so cute. <laughs> uh, so that's my joke for today. I hope you guys like that. I know you miss my dumb jokes. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got a question about Howard. So we're still talking, but you know, he's just got so much going on in his life and, uh, so, right now we're just talking, and uh, he's still dealing with all that junk with his the daughter's accident. She's still in the hospital, and he's stuck with the um, grandkids. He's got to babysit the grandkids, and then he's got to pay somebody during the day to babysit them. And so, it's just a whole mess. So, I'm kind of just going to wait and see what happens with that, because... I don't know. It's just too much stuff going on. But he is a really nice guy. So there we go. We're going to put all those together. And then these go on with dimensionals. And I think we're done with the glue. 
All right, so stick a dimensional all over these. Let me put, put them out. So when you're making like multiple cards, it's always easy to do it like in steps, you know, assembly line style. So you've got like you do all of them in one step and then you go to the next step and so on. So it makes it go faster. Now, don't forget to use your edges of your um, dimensionals. You don't want to waste the edges. I use every single little piece. So I always cut all these extra ones up and use them. Let me see if I got more comments. Okay. Oh, Debbie liked my joke. All right. Everybody liked that. <laughs> everybody liked the joke. Um, okay. The STD takes the cake. I know. I think that was so funny. <laughs> Oh, Karen says, I love, love Lisa too, but I enjoy your interaction with everyone, Debbie Spicer. <laughs> okay. I think I'll just have Debbie Spicer be my assistant. <laughs> That's what I need to do. We need to get her on here and, and she'll be the assistant. All right, I need to cut some more of these up. I know I really do need like somebody on here. I know a lot of people have moderators on theirs to answer questions and stuff. It's hard just doing it by yourself. Okay, so I wanna ask you guys a question. So someone made a comment to me that um, all of my cards on my videos are the same. Like they're kind of the same, they look the same, like the same style. And I said, well, I think that's what people like and that's why they watch, because they like my style. So. I want to know if you guys agree with that or if you just watch because you like me. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot to do something. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I forgot to sponge. I got too busy talking. Hold on. So I've got crushed curry here, and I was going to sponge with that with the blending brush. So let me do that real quick. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. All right, so I just want to blend really quick over this just to give it a little bit of color. So I try to do different things, you know, different techniques and different, um, oops, I was already stuck. Okay. I think the other ones are good still. But, um, you know, I'm kind of set in my colors and I have my favorite colors and my favorite stamp sets and, you know, I don't do cutesy, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree? And I know some of you guys are probably going to agree and some disagree. But that's okay. We all, I know, see, we all tend to have our own style. Because that's what I was saying. Because there's certain people like, I um, can't think of anybody off the top of my head right this minute. But there's some people like, I can just see a card online and I can say right away, oh, that's so-and-so's card without even looking at the name on it because I just know their style. Like, um, oh, who am I trying to think of? Oh, Gail Ellis. Like, she's one of my favorite stampers. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but she has a blog. And her cards are absolutely gorgeous. I just love, love, love them. And um, she is very, very talented. And Tammy Wilson, she's another one that I really like. And I don't think she has a YouTube channel either. But, I mean, some people do, like, all different stuff, but I kind of just tend to I have a style, you know what I mean? I like to do pretty simple, but really nice. You know, elegant but simple. I'm not one of those real complicated people that does, like, a hundred steps. Which I know some people like that, but then you'd be on here, like, an hour. All right, we're going to put this kind of near the top. These are easy cards though, and that baby wipe just makes the most beautiful colors when you put them all together. I think that yellow did come out pretty good. You can't really see it too much, but I do think crushed curry would work a little bit better. I'm gonna put just a little bit more yellow. 
Alrighty. Let me see. Some comments. Love your cards. What? No, and Jess, we like you. <laughs> uh, oh, Karen, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, Connie Stewart. I love Connie Stewart. Yeah, now see, her style is sweet and simple. You know, she's got simply simple stamping. Like, all of her stuff is five minutes or less, usually. I love her stuff. But, I mean, I think we all do have our own style, and... I try to limit my videos to like 30 minutes, you know, each one. And, you know, sometimes I go over, but they're usually about 30 minutes. Because I think people kind of start losing interest after about 30 minutes. And sometimes, you know, people fast forward through stuff. and So I don't want to make them too long. Alright, then we got to put some bling on. And I picked pearls for this one because I thought they went pretty well with it. Alright, I think we need a little bit more sponging. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to do um, let me see my pearls. And I got my take your pick tool. Let me read some comments. Why are my comments not? There we go. Oh, you vote for Debbie as my assistant. <laughs> Oh, Audrey, thank you so much. You like the cards and my personality. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're going to make me cry. The bubbly personality. <laughs> uh, you just worry about me. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Don't change. Oh, I'd be moderated, but not sure how. Oh. Yeah, I know. Maybe Debbie, maybe we'll somehow we'll figure out how to get you to be my assistant. Um, don't change. Valerie says, I watch because I love you and I love your cards. Oh, you're so sweet. You guys are all so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to have to go back and read all of these. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice. Thank you so much. You just made me feel so good. All right, I'm going to go back and read all these. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. That really makes me feel good because I was kind of like a little bit, um, you know, <laughs> bummed by that because I thought, well, I thought, you know, what I was doing was good. So, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. All right. So, put like three pearls on each one. Oh, you know what I forgot to do too is my bows. I got to stop talking so much. All right. Let's put the bow first and then do the pearls. All right. So, I went ahead and did the bows. Well, four out of five of them ahead of time. Oops. I'm missing that one fingernail. This one in the middle that fell off. Well, not fall off. It broke off. It's like the one I use all the time to grab stuff with like these um, glue dots. So it makes it harder to grab them if you don't have that one fingernail. All right, and then I'm gonna show you how to tie the other, the last one. And this is the linen thread. It's a double bow with the linen thread, which is my favorite um, bow to use. Just because there's, it's so like delicate and um, just makes a really pretty bow. It's really easy to tie. And I like the double ones. So I just, I don't know how long this is, but I just cut a long piece and then cut it in half. And then just tie a little loop or make a little loop, wrap it around, pull it through. And then just hold the center knot and just pull it both directions until you get a cute little bow. And then just trim it if you need to. I think that's good. All right, and then put a glue dot on it. Okay, there we go. 
All right, now let's put the pearls on. All right, so three pearls on each card should do it. Just wherever you like. And then we're gonna have to do some shimmer because my card is not finished without that shimmer spray. But these cards are really easy. I don't know what time it is. Let me see, 7.40. Okay, so it went a little bit longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. All right, one more on this one. Oops, oh, there's already three on that one. Never mind. We didn't do this one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is the card kit for the next two weeks. So um, if you order $50 or more in the next two weeks through the 15th, you will get this card kit, so you'll get enough to make three of these. So I will send you everything. The only thing you have to have is the stamps. So I'll send you all the paper, the pearls, and the ribbon to make it. So, um, and the adhesive, you'll need that too. So there we go, all my cards. Love, love, love them. I think this one I sponged a lot more than the other ones, but that's okay. All right, so what do you guys think? Oh, we forgot the shimmer spray. Hold on. Oh, I should put scrap paper under this so it doesn't curl my paper. It always curls my paper underneath. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see all that sparkle. Can you see the sparkle on here? Love it, love it, love it. Let me hold it up close. See if you guys can see it. Oops. Got dimensional backings going everywhere. All right, can you guys see that? Hopefully the sparkle on there. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys made my day. Um, this spray does dry instantly. Yeah, it takes about 30 seconds to dry. Um, oh, Cynthia, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'm so glad I asked that question. All right, so that's my cards for tonight. Are these are my cards? I'm so glad you liked them. And thank you for joining me. This was a little bit long. I'm so glad it didn't mess up. Um, this is the bottle. It's just a bottle from, I think this was Target, or you can get Dollar Store. Um, any spritz uh, spray bottle will work. Just fill it with um, alcohol, 70% alcohol. Make sure you use 70%, not 91% or um, it has to be 70%. And then you just pour a little bit of the shimmer paint in there and then mix it up and that's it. That's all you gotta do. And it just makes this gorgeous shimmer on there that I love, love, love so much. And we need to get Stampin' Up! to bring it back. I could video for two hours. <laughs> oh, Audrey, you're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, Dollar Tree has these bottles. I think they're just a, a little teeny bit smaller than this one, but they do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys are so awesome. All right, well, it's time to go. Thank you guys for joining me. I am so glad that you all were here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. That always helps my channel. If you want to order anything to get this card kit, and you'll get three of these to make yourselves, just um, use the host code and um, go to stampingwithlisa.com. And don't forget the new celebration items. I'll, um, well, they're posted on the Stampin' Up! website. So if you click on ordering and then it goes to the Stampin' Up! website, they'll be available on there so you can see what they are but it was the um, embossing folders, the timber, the gingham, and the seashells embossing folder, brushed metallic cardstock, and excuse the ink color, my ink is running out, and the silver foil. 
and the craft gift boxes. Those are the $50 ones. And then the $100 ones are Aspen Tree Dyes, Daffodil Dyes, Dots and Spots, and Flowers of Home. So those are the extra um, free celebration items. All right, you guys, I will be back on Thursday with another video. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Make sure you guys have a great week. And take care. Bye-bye.